Hello, you're live on the Freakers Ball with Grimnir and Moose Girl. Hey, Grimnir and Moose Girl. Hey, Vinny, Vinny. How you guys doing this evening? Oh, pretty well. How about you? Pretty good. Not, I, I've been able to hear uh, all the broadcasts tonight, the uh, background noise, so I feel like I'm going to lean forward. But uh, I wanted to call in and uh, give a little update where the uh, the Tier 3 Bundy trial was, uh, was at and a little bit of past and uh, uh, some about some interaction uh, on Twitter with uh, Hal and uh, I had a guy I started with last night and finally ended up with him sometime today but uh, you know it became quite clear that you know he wasn't interested in discussion but uh, uh, demand uh, uh, orientated uh, language you know wanting to uh, make it a debate instead of a discussion but um, so Hal I know you're listening um uh, I hope uh, Sunday that you will be able to outline some more on uh, how to affect the uh, quo warranto, how to challenge a court in that jurisdiction. Um, unfortunately, uh, I think most of it will land on deaf ears. Uh, I know I'll uh, try to reach out to uh, Sugar Pine Mine and uh, also uh, during the uh, 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 now your wildlife or, or the uh, Harney County uh, Resource Center, which it has renamed. But uh, so, anyways, we've we've ended uh, the second retrial. Uh, that's just the first round of trials. There's three rounds. Uh, the next one, which they keep setting off, for uh, Cliven and Brian, uh, his son uh, Ammon, his son, and uh, Pete Santilli. So uh, I think their their trial was already supposed to have started like uh, you know earlier in the year, like maybe June. They keep pushing it off. That they're holding these guys without trial. Now, the the last round there, there was no guilty charges. Uh, uh, nobody was found guilty. They were uh, were hung on, uh, I believe, uh, four or six counts with uh, uh, Eric uh, Parker and uh, uh, Scott Drexler. Everybody else was uh, was found guilty except for the two previous uh, fellows that uh, uh, in the first uh, first trial. So, anyways, uh, that. And we're going to let him out, though, uh, the prosecutor there, uh, he even went to shaking and having a fit, uh, calling uh, uh, Eric Parker a coward, a slithering coward uh, several times. Uh, just a big emotional outburst. First. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm really glad, to, like in uh, Oregon in the first trial up there, the, the jury was able to see through the uh, the, the really, the, the truly, um, the bias uh, from the judge. Uh, uh, and how they're handling the prosecution. Uh, of course, uh, all parties are, you know, work for the state, including the uh, defense attorney. So, of course, that's a problem uh, and uh, a truly a fair trial to start with. But uh, when you get a, a Obama appointee with the uh, obvious left leanings and an agenda, uh, now for uh, some folks that commented, uh, uh, I want you to realize that there, there's more to and, and the wildlife and stuff, um, it's a, it's a land grab by federal, well, the corporatocracy. Um, and that's being used for uh, collateral and the debt and, and then also many, uh, and of course this isn't the right word, resources, because they're finite, but they're there, but they're they're taken from, from the land and production. Um, and then we go to private property rights. We have this big old discussion that's not, that's kind of a nice word for it between the left and the right communists and nazis uh and, and so much is lost so everybody feels like they've got to take a stand and, and uh take you know take a side uh and, and i think uh, so much is being missed so uh, unfortunately the guy I was engaged with in conversation uh for many many hours and longer than i i would normally uh um you know have patience and tolerance for it. but uh uh, they, the guy, and I knew he would. He, he showed his colors. He, he just wants to be right. There's no, no desire to, uh, you know, uh, analyze true information. That uh, you, you've got to, you've got to look for where you've got to, where you came from, and where you're at, to be able to fully understand that. And uh, like I said, I, I hope Pal is going to be covering that. Um, so I, I know we're running short on time, but uh, I just wanted to call in and quick update. All right, no, no, it's great information. Uh, uh, I, I read, uh, I think it was today, that uh, 
you know, they were going to, even though they've lost twice, the state's lost twice, they're still going, going to go after them again and try, and try and get them on any little thing they could. And, you know, all, all the nasty things they've done to, throughout the trial and suppressing evidence and uh, just suppressing basic testimony. Um, and, and they still lost. They still, you know, they've done everything they could to, to nail everybody to the, to the wall, and they can't get them there. And they're pissed That's off right. about that. And uh, just a bunch of scumbags, this state, you know, or all states. But uh, so, I, I mean, <laughs> just, just, you know, something uh, else very important. Uh, they they didn't, weren't allowed to have any mention of why they were there. So it goes to state of mind. So state of mind was allowed for prosecution, <clears throat> but not for defense. And uh, Eric Parker was thrown off the stand uh uh, nobody was even allowed to uh, testify in front of the jury for the defense. Um, so, I mean, they didn't even give closing statements, uh, which was <laughs> would be kind of a mute point, uh, figuratively and literally, I guess, nearly, that is, uh, being a bounding gag. <clears throat> Eric Parker, that is. So, uh, uh, Dan Love, uh, he was the agent in charge. Um, for the listeners, use your search engine and uh, uh, look for uh, Dan Love. Uh, very corrupt. He, he's a typical uh, a bully. Uh, he's the face of a terrorist. And uh, so for the face of true terrorism, uh, I won't say Google. <laughs> he just did. Uh, Dan Love. What a name for a guy so full of hate. Anyways, they wouldn't uh, allow any mention of him and all this corruption, stealing evidence and so forth. Um, hey, the mob... I, I think uh, all these guys in prison should probably be let out with an apology compared to uh, the true thugs and pirates in government. Right, absolutely. Okay, well, hey, thanks, and thanks, Boosie, and hello, hey, everybody. Well, in chat. Let, me, uh, let, me, let me get your take yeah. on this uh, Arpaio thing. Okay, well, <clears throat> I know if I was in jail, I sure wouldn't want to have been there and uh, – uh, what is that? Mariposa County, I believe that, uh, right. rap poet is, uh, yeah, uh, obvious, uh, he probably needs to be tried with, uh, the guys in Guantanamo Bay. Uh, you know, the guys are doing the torturing and stuff like that. Um, uh, it's, I see Mitch in a call on a concentration camps and, uh, that may probably be a kind word. Uh, I know the conditions there, uh, uh, you know, a hundred and, uh, what, up to twenty some odd degrees in the uh, in the desert out there in tents and um, eating uh, rotten food, um, green bologna, uh, moldy bread, uh, and I believe uh, uh you know boy I can't tell you the calorie count but however much of that you could consume and, and that lends to racketeering and so forth inside the prisons. I may, have I still got you? I didn't lose you, did I? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. The phone made a funny uh, vibrate. So yeah, he, he's uh, uh, you know, he's the same guys uh, that ran concentration camps in in Germany and and uh, Russia. You know, the same uh, same type fella, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And, and Trump, uh, you know, under pressure from uh, uh, I guess the extreme right, uh, where he holds some power base, uh, probably pressured him. This this guy's a hero. He's like this like this guy that. A little dog, uh, setting traps for, uh, people coming across from Mexico. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. Evil. Very evil. All right. Good. That's, that's what I wanted to get from you. Just to find out what you, I mean, cause I, 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 you know, see these people pop up on my Twitter timeline saying, oh, great thing. They let this, this scumbag, you know, he got his pardon. And it's like, how can how can anybody think this guy was good? He's, uh, I mean, uh, uh, horrible, horrible person, and 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 so I guess for Trump he's fine, he's all good. Well, there's a lot of Trump supporters, and, and people are unfortunately gravitating to far left and far right because of the issues today, and and you know that's being pumped out there and paid for by the likes of Soros and you know, all, you know all the other foundations and you know whatever there's there's plenty of them so there, there's a definite agenda in it. it's very disheartening to find uh so many people especially that i work with in media um falling for it yeah, to either side now <laughs> 
Facebook. Uh, you know, uh, I've been defriended by uh, several uh, stream on both sides. Some people I've worked with and, uh, you know, I had a lot of respect for uh, uh, gone. Well, that's fine. Um, you know, I sure ain't preaching hate. Uh, and I don't know how anybody would take that. That I would say, hey, uh, you know, if Nazis want to march in the street, that's their business. If you want to be a communist and do the same. But when you, uh, pay, pay, and like Moosey was saying earlier, you know, when you pick these two groups against each other, you're going to have an expected outcome. So no big surprise. And, and if you fall in either camp, and Julieta, for you, uh, you know, you, you say you're anti-fascist. Oh, you know, I think we all are. Yeah, I'm certainly probably <laughs> <You would hope. laughs> but Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, who who's pro-fascist? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, and the reason, like you made a point on the post, yes, they are anti-fascist too. Uh, fascism, of course, is corporatocracy. Uh, it's nothing new. Um, the food lobby and the powers of be, they manipulate the. Uh, the system for their own good and uh, everybody thinks that they're working for them hoorah government's here to save us now um golly what can I say yeah take a closer look huh. yeah I don't know man anyway that's a I guess a great distraction because uh, you, know, you don't really hear too much about all the crap that was going on before before that now that's all gone out of the way um uh, you know, all the oh, sure, yeah. Earlier, uh, uh, we're, we're just going, you know, what? you know, the same type. I don't care, fascist or communist, uh, you know, whatever. It, it's it's both uh, give you the same results in the end, and that's going to be millions and millions and millions of people dead, uh, and it's not going to be pretty. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, well, you know, whatever. It don't matter what 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 uh, label you want to stick on it, whether you want to call it democracy or a republic, as long as, long as you uh, allow the state to be the uh, decider of things, people are going to die. Absolutely. So, um, anyway, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> But thanks for taking my call. And uh, so I'm here uh, in Cali. Uh, I've got tons and tons of pictures that I just really ain't got uh, around to putting up. But uh, I'll be in Vegas uh, here in a couple of weeks, be at my brother's. He, he has some projects that he wants me to help him work on. And uh, so we're going to be doing that and uh, uh, posting pictures from, uh, gee, from uh, all the way back into Tennessee. <laughs> that I've not put up in some videos and uh so uh I'll hopefully I'll do that. Now the September um the third retrial uh begins. So uh I, I will be there and uh down at the federal courthouse and uh um, doing some coverage down there. Great. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, let me get off and uh thanks for taking my call, Graham. A uh, big shout out to uh, Solo Man, our very own uh, Solomon. Um, hey, well, we love and miss you, and we really appreciate when we can hear from you. And uh, thanks again, Hal, for uh, <clears throat> I know you put a lot of time in on uh, uh, Dylan with this weave on Twitter too. So yeah, <clears throat> hopefully, and uh, a big shout out to the Range Reporter, Free Range uh, Reporter. Uh, we're getting a lot of engagement there, so. Uh, I'm kind of playing the uh playing how the social media works uh, uh I would suggest maybe uh some more likes uh, uh just as to how uh, some more likes on uh, some of the interaction and and uh, retweets and uh then of course uh, uh the solution in there <clears throat> excuse me for for the uh, uh what's what's being presented there so uh, get, getting yourself uh, uh, circulated more is basically the point I'm saying here. Uh, interact with some of the people. Uh, free range is, is a good outlet. A lot of like-minded people as far as uh, wanting to understand production and so forth on the land and uh, and right. So, um, yeah. Anyways, we got we're, we're all hooked up here. Free range and how 
myself and interaction and so uh just you know keep keep looking where we can engage um each of us yeah uh, you know if you don't know what to do uh, ask somebody uh, yeah. you know pretty sure somebody i'll be glad to help sure sure all right, man. Thank you for calling in. Uh, good to hear that things are going all right, and you'll be out there with uh, your buddy in Vegas soon, brother. Brother in Vegas. Soon. Yeah. So. Uh huh. All right, we'll get some good reporting out. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Lucy. Right. Bye, everybody in chat. I'll see you in chat.